What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me AB and look I got my nephew here look he don't need no introduction but I'm gonna let him go ahead and do his thing I'm happy to be back on the west coast I wish I could tell you guys that it's uh, warm and sunny but it's a little chilly this week uh, but we're here to do some holiday recipes for you guys and most hey, wait, wait 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 how could you say it's chilly out here bro you coming from where you come from I don't believe that it was it's actually warmer right now on the east coast than it is on the west coast in Virginia okay this all right, week. I'll go ahead. All right. Hey, but tell them why you're really here, man. So we're here to shoot some holiday recipe content, and most importantly, I came out here to help fulfill these cookbook orders and start shipping. So we appreciate all the support, all of the orders coming in. My back's a little sore from all of the, he had me lifting heavy boxes and stuff like that, so. Hey, so look, this is our way of just saying, you know what, thank you you know, thank you know, to you guys for making this uh, pre-order uh, a success. Uh, and I want to tell him so he can look me in my eye, you wasn't gonna have me out here shipping all this book. <laughs> All right, so listen, you guys read the title, you know what we're doing, you know what I mean? Uh, this is like an easy, southern, even when I say easy though, right? It's about the flavor though. The flavor profile on this is like over the top, you know what I mean? So listen, if you guys wanna know how to make just an easy and delicious, you know, southern fried catfish, I almost said catfish, southern fried catfish. Oh man, you know what? You got any catfish? Man, let me check. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, listen, southern fried cabbage. This is it right here. Now, for me, I tell you, my level up is using this andouille sauces. This, the bacon, you know what I mean? Getting all of the flavors in there. We got the garlic. Then we're going to put some uh, bell peppers. Hey, you, you know the rest. Oh, and then I don't know why I got this little small onion, but I got it, though, folks. Hey, listen, the onion is here. All right, with that being said, uh, let's get into it. Let's get it. All right, nephew. Hey, look, so we finna get started, right? For me, I'm gonna go ahead and cut down this uh, this bacon. And I gotta show this too right here. You guys see that? Listen, always, always use the thick cut, right? Hey, look, now on your channel, nephew, you always be having that other. Tell them what a good substitution for those who don't eat your pork. So for my folks that don't eat pork, you can use beef bacon, which you can find at most grocery stores. Um, personally, turkey bacon probably wouldn't wouldn't work because of the fat content. So you could probably add a little extra butter if you need to add a little more fat. But you could try beef bacon if you eat beef. I mean, that's it right there. All right, so I'm gonna slice up these bell peppers. We got red and green for a little color. And then while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these down, right? Actually, you know what? How many pieces of bacon are we at? I'm gonna go ahead and use just one pound. All right, look. I'm not going, we're not going to bore you guys with that. You guys see what we're doing right now. We're just cutting them down. He's doing the dicing. I'm getting these going, and then we show you guys the next step. Okay, nephew, look, while you go going ahead and chop that down, I'm going to go ahead and work on this, uh, on this andouille right here. Now, you know, right here, this right here is where all the flavor comes from. If didn't nobody know, this is the magic. So, we just going to cut these down. I can go ahead and cut them down and be all fancy like this. You know what I mean? We can have some, but to be honest with you, I want to go ahead and cut them really like that in half. So that's how I'm gonna do these. Yeah, and do sausage has a lot of flavor. Look, and if you guys come on in here, look at that right there. Look, that's the flavor. You see that right there, the orange? Look at the seasoning right there. If you guys wanna know why I use andouille, that right there will tell you. And we want this flavor, along with this bacon and everything else in there to leave with a nice little, I don't almost call it a residue, but that's the like melting point for this flavor right here. This onion's got me teary-eyed. Right. <laughs> you can also get chicken or turkey or beef andouille sausage as well. I think this is actually chicken, right? This is chicken, yeah, sure. So you can find that at the store for those of you that, that don't eat pork. This is a good recipe for the holidays too, as like a little side dish. And with all the, you know, the sausage and bacon, it could be a, a main, I eat this as a, a meal sometimes too. Right. Oh, you know what, speaking of that, listen, if you're on keto, this is the meal for you. I don't know no other meal that's just flavorful that when you're on keto. After this, I guess you can have yourself some some good uh, good chicken uh, wings or something like that. Yeah. All right, so nephew, look, I done seen you already and cut the cabbage down in quarters. So go ahead and explain what we're doing right here. So what I like to do is quarter it first and then we're gonna remove the core. So I like to set it up like this and then you kind of just chop that out of there. Yep, that's it. There's a million ways to do it though. So you can do it you know, however you're comfortable with and you kind of just shave it into whatever size you want. You can make it thin, you can make it thicker. Totally up to you. All right, nephew, while you finishing that up, look, we want to get a head start on this right here. Yep. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this in there. And then for those of you guys that's looking at this pot right here, look, this right here is my new go to. I love these hex clad, you know, pots. Look, nothing stick. You just see me put nothing in the inside. 
just go ahead and add this if you want to give your bacon a head start. We're going to need a little bit of this. Got that fat. Got the render. All right. So, I don't know. Maybe I should have slowed down a little bit just to show you guys why I'm so in love with these pots. But if you look, I'll move them over here because I haven't moved up. Look, it takes no effort. Look, nothing shit. Yeah, I need to give me one of these. Oh, yeah. I went ahead and got the set, man. You give me this for Christmas? You know what, nephew? I just might. What heat are we working over right now? Right now, I just got a, like a, a, a medium heat. Okay. Medium heat. We're just looking for the fat to render. That's going to help build some flavor and give the cabbage something to cook in. And then when I get them all down, again, it's up to you guys, however you want to cut them, right? Like I got this big piece, really could have been split, right? But I'm gonna cut this in half, and then I'm gonna go ahead and quarter, right? So that right there is nice. I just want to make sure that every time I get my, you know, hit it with the fork, I get some of this andouille with it. Absolutely. Andouille is one of my favorite sausages to cook with. It's got a little smokiness to it. Got a little bit of spice, not too much. It's great in a lot of Cajun and Creole recipes call for it, gumbo and things like that. Usually have andouille sausage in it. Ooh, speaking of that. Speaking of gumbo, we, I know two guys that got a really good gumbo recipe on YouTube. <laughs> All right, nephew, this is what we're looking for. And you see that right there? Look, you didn't want to talk me that. You didn't want to tell me that that down there. That's that fine, huh? Yes, hey, but look, check it out. Don't stick though. Check it out. It's just settling down on the bottom. Anyway, so this is where we at right now. This is what I like right here. Now, I'm gonna let you go ahead. Starting to get nice and crispy. As you can see, we got plenty of bacon fat in there, and that's what we're gonna use to cut or cook our already cut veggies. This pot sounds like a church bell. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add the veggies into that bacon grease. We're gonna move it around a little bit, make sure it's evenly distributed, nothing sticking to the bottom or to the sides. We don't want anything to burn up. And we just wanna sweat those down, start getting them nice and tender. It smells amazing. As soon as you add an onion to some bacon fat, oh my, God. my heart starts beating a little fast. Oh, yes, I don't sir. know if it's from the bacon fat or from the smell. Yes, sir. Okay, so look, this right here is my level up. You know what I mean? Uh, to be honest with you, man, I could use your AP seasoning, you know, like that. But listen, because I call it like the Southern, not saying that your AP seasoning is not gonna give us that. But look, I'm using this right here because this is the way, you know, we make it. And usually when you come out and eat at the table with the family, this is what we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some of this. This Creole kick here, and look, we're just gonna season this. Season the taste, right? There you go, that's enough right now. Introduce a little flavor to the part. Yes, sir. Just mix that in, you can already smell it. It smells amazing, mixing in there with the onions and the peppers. Once we add that garlic, which I know you're excited about with the garlic crust, the flavor and the, the smell is gonna get even better. Now, nephew, now's that time to bring this. You know what I mean? Gotta bring that in, do it, right? There you go. Tons of flavor in this pot. Oh yeah. I wish you guys could smell this. Man, it smells incredible. Well, they, they'll smell it when they make it. That's right. So we're just gonna mix that in. Again, you want everything evenly distributed. You don't want anything kind of burning up at the bottom, so kind of scrape the bottom a little bit. Fold everything together and just let everything cook evenly. Let all those flavors come together and marry. Now, or date. I don't want to push marriage on anybody. <laughs> you don't want to push marriage on nobody? Go. Hey, look. So I want to show this part. I like this one right here because, listen, if you're putting in multiple, you know what I mean? You know, multiple, you know, guarded clothes, and you can see this right here loads up. I can probably get six in here. You know what I mean? So we'll get it like this. I'll go ahead and... Uh-oh. We don't want to lose now. There you go. So you want to add the garlic towards the end because it has a tendency to burn pretty quickly. If you add it in there at the beginning, it's super hot and it, it'll kind of burn up and lose some of that flavor that we're looking for. Oh man, that smells good. We got garlic, we got bacon fat, we got andouille sausage. Hey, There's I'm, no way this is not gonna be delicious. Hey listen, I'm gonna give you something to think about. Man, we could do some pasta shells, you know, we can mix up something like that and put that in there. Oh, that That'd right be great. There. I'm loving what I'm seeing right there. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, go in with cabbage? Yeah. You know what, look, we got that little butter right there. Let's just go ahead and throw it in there right now. You know why? Because we finna just start mixing it. Why not? Why not? Since we pulled it out. All right. All right, so I'm, I'm going in with the cabbage. Get out your ring. There you go. And we just kind of, I like to kind of break it up as I add it. Save you a little bit of forearm work later. 
and it'll start to wilt down as it cooks. The cabbage will get nice and tender. You know what, maybe we should have said that in the beginning though. You always want to use a pot that has a top. Teamwork makes the dream work. I was about to say, hey nephew, you look like you done done this before. <laughs> All right, so I gotta commend you on your choice of uh, using red and green bell pepper because it gives it that nice color, nice pop of color from the red. Hey, and not to mention, this is the taste, bro. So this is why you need to have a lid when you put this on there. This right here will start steaming soon. So once we start building up some heat in there, you know, yada, 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 it'll weather down, wither down, steam or cook it, and then we'll start, you know, checking on the softness. Yep. We're just, uh, I don't like to keep opening this top. I got shirts to say, if you looking, you ain't cooking. Listen, you can see now it's starting to build up. It takes time to build up that steam and keep that heat inside the pot. Okay, nephew, look, it's been in here, what? I'm gonna say about eight and nine minutes or whatever. I can see that steam going good. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Nice. At least you know how to break it, man. <laughs> All right. Learn the hard way. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. Man, this looks like this is almost about ready. Getting close. Yeah. Somebody get in there for a taste test and let you know. Oh man, it smells incredible. You can see all the caramelization happening from the bottom. Oh man. Just the way it feels, and I ain't gonna lie to you, it feel right. Oh, Gotta get a piece of that andouille sauce. And some bacon, hold on. Let's get the perfect <laughs> bite. That's right. can't beat a good fried cabbage. And this, my friends, is a good fried cabbage. You know what I want to do. You know when I start holding it like that? This is definitely a fourth drop worthy recipe. You want to hit it with some black pepper? Fuck, you never had, bro. <laughs> there we go. That's a good fried cat. Hey nephew, look. Hey, I'm gonna say this, man. Every time you know we get together, we be so excited on whatever we're working on. Look, right. nobody made no cornbread. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and you put it in that bowl. Because I can promise you this, I'm starving, bro. I'm ready to dig in. Get us a taste test. That's right. <clears throat> oh man, look at that. Lots of flavor in there. This is my bowl, so. Oh man, really? <laughs> I thought that was enough to serve two or three people, bro. Hey nephew, I see you loaded up over there. You did say that's your bowl, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it a little bit more civilized, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm kind of like angry though that we ain't got no, uh, we ain't got no cornbread. Hey, but so you guys can see, you can see all of that, that goodness in there. You know what, don't look over here. Look over there, dude got all the goodness over there. This is a, a guest portion right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Home of the truth. Home of the truth. Don't get any better than that. No, sir. Mm. You guys got to get this recipe a try. And I'm sorry. Hey, let me ask you this. Is this? Yeah, it's in the cookbook, isn't it? Yeah. Speaking of the cookbook, you're gonna pro provide it uh, the link in the uh, description box, right? This is true. Yes. And we're shipping right now, so no more pre-orders. Go ahead and place your order. We're gonna ship it as soon as we can. Uh, in the order in which we receive the books, we're already beginning shipping. We've been doing that all day and yesterday. Um, so go ahead and get your cookbook. Over 90 recipes. Me and AB work really hard on that and we appreciate all the support. Is it good? <laughs> it just ain't fair, bro. You know what I mean? For us to do what we love to do, you know what I mean? And eat this great food, you know what I mean? Uh, now I gotta, you know, pay homage to everybody that's watching. You know, I gotta say thank you, you know, for supporting these premieres for one. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, thank you, nephew. You know what I mean? For just coming out hey, and especially helping me put these books in these mailers. Bro. That's why we need all of this food to get <laughs> that's our that's energy right. up. That's right. You know what? Just to thank you to everybody that's even watching this video. You know, those who, you know, supported and subscribe. You know, I want to tell everybody happy holidays. You know, Merry Christmas. You know, Happy New Year. And I will say this, though, without letting anything out of the bag, and I'm gonna just say, hey, 2022 is gonna be a big year. Absolutely. I, we lost a little time this year dealing with the situation of the country, 
You know what I mean? But uh, 2022 is going to be it. And with that being said, nephew, I know we're trying to get to 300,000, right? Working hard. We're getting real close to 300,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the support. Just take a quick second to come check my channel out. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. Hey, you know what? I like that you said that, man, because I get a lot of people to tell me, hey, drive some, you know, something to my channel. Right. You know what I mean? I was just like, hey, you know what? I just tell people, look, if I like it, I just expose the channel, you know, just expose those to it. And if they like it, then you subscribe. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, with that being said, listen, I'm not going to over talk it. You know, I just want to say, hey, thank you guys again. Yeah, I'm finna hurry up and eat. <laughs> now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take the time to say, hey, Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, check this one out. It's two channels out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, ah, I'm out. Peace.